Hi all. Some months back I was browsing YouTube and came across something called a Mendocino motor. I may not be pronouncing that correctly and my apologies to Mendocino, but it really intrigued me the simplicity of the motor and the, some of the concepts that it embodied. It uses uh, solar cells, rare earth magnets, uh, both for propulsion and for magnetic bearing. This one using a uh, approximately 30 turns of number 32 wire and four half watt solar cells, some small neodymium magnets for uh, the bearings. So have a look see here and appreciate you taking the time to look at it. What you might notice as it starts to spin up is that its angular velocity isn't a constant. You might think this is due to a mass imbalance in the armature, but this is really not the case. The real culprit is that the actual shaft magnet's flux distribution isn't absolutely symmetrical. But by using two small magnets at each end of the shaft, the asymmetry could be minimized. Did this by gluing one magnet at an arbitrary fixed position on the armature and then by trial and error turn its sister magnet a few degrees at a time until the smallest change in shaft height was observed over one full revolution of the armature. None of the other videos I've seen talk to this point so whether it's common to all magnets or just the ones I'm using I can't say. But here it played a definite role in optimizing this unit's performance over its range and speed.